And turning now to the scorching heat from coast to coast all week long, dozens of states have been dealing with soaring temperatures well into the 90s and reaching triple digits in many cases. As of this hour, more than 80 million Americans are under heat warnings, and the dangerous temperature is expected to last through the week. The heat wave focusing on central and southern states, including Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Nowhere, though, may have it worse than Texas. Part of that state has been over 100 degrees for the majority of this summer so far, breaking records for the hottest June ever and well on the way to being the hottest July in state history as well. I want to bring you a live look in Dallas, courtesy of Earth Cam. A little hazy there, and you can't tell from the picture, but the temperature is reaching 99 degrees today. Correspondent Marky Martin joins us live now from Dallas. And Marky, this isn't just an inconvenience. It is creating life-threatening conditions. Yeah, Natasha, right now 99% of the state is under drought conditions as we speak. In cities like Fort Worth, their water systems are being taxed because of it. Just to our west, you have raging wildfires, and we just got our first heat-related death of the season right here in Dallas County. A lot of the firefighters that I speak with, they describe this heat as having physical weight. Jason Evans with Dallas Fire Rescue Department says relentless heat is taking its toll on Texans. Already, heat-related calls have been fourfold compared to last summer. There's only been a couple of summers that I can actually remember that compared to the one we're currently in. We are surprised that the first death was only reported yesterday. Dallas County reporting its first heat-related death of the season, a 66-year-old woman who had underlying conditions. Also dangerous, wildfires burning out of control across Texas. 215 of the state's 254 counties now have a burn ban in effect. But fires like this one rage on. At least 21 homes have been destroyed so far. The largest and most threatening fire burning about 50 miles south of Fort Worth and just 10% contained. Weather is the biggest driver in water use, whether it's up or down. In Fort Worth, there have been more than 200 water main breaks in just the past 30 days. Officials say the ground is so dry, it's cracking and shifting, breaking the city's older cast iron pipes. On Wednesday, the city set an all-time high for total Total gallons of water used, 318 million. We're not convinced the Wednesday record will make it till the end of summer um, because this is only July. We haven't seen August yet. And it's not just Texas. In Tennessee, the Salvation Army handing out water and food to the homeless, trying to help them stay safe during blistering temperatures. As far north as New York, power outages forcing 600 people outside. This is hot and it's dangerous, and there's a lot of older people on this street. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.